Hi friends and welcome. Today we are going to make self-portraits in the style of royalty. So we are going to start out with our supplies. So we have our paper and then we have a royal portrait template that we're going to use. We have some crayons in various colors and we also have a white crayon that I will show you how to use that for some magical royal effects. And we have some watercolor paints. We have a little spray bottle that we're gonna use. We wanna spray the watercolors down and that way we will have our paint all ready to go. We have some brushes in different sizes, some paper towels and a cup of water to clean our brushes with. And we also have a mirror so we can use that for our self portraits. And then we will also need to use a pencil. So what we wanna do first is we are going to flip our paper onto the back and we are going to write our name. My name is Tiffany. We are going to write our teacher's name and we are going to write our grade and we're just gonna put a K for kindergarten. Okay. We'll flip this back over to the correct, to the front side. And then we are going to take our royal portrait template and this is going to help us to draw our crown and draw our face. So we're gonna just set that right on top of our other piece of paper and we're gonna pick a brightly colored crayon, like a darker color. So you could use purple or blue or a dark green or a dark red, any of those would work. I am going to use purple. So I'm just gonna trace the outline along the inside here. And we're gonna trace our crown and then we're gonna trace around our circle, our oval for our face, okay? So once we have that done, we can lift up our template and we can see that we have the start of our royal portrait. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna start adding in our details and we can look in the mirror and look at our face and see how we wanna add our special features. And we can use the same color uh, crayon or we can use a different one. So I'm gonna use the purple. And first we're gonna start with our eyes. So from here to here, we kind of want our eyes halfway down from the top of our crown to our chin here. And if you don't have a crown on, you would just measure top of your crown, top of your head to your chin, but we have a crown. So we're gonna start here and go down. And so about halfway down, that's where we're gonna have our eyes. So we're gonna draw our eyes on. So we wanna kind of make it like a almond shape or a football shape. We draw one eye on that side and then have a space in the middle and draw another eye here. Okay, and then we have an iris Right, the colored part, that's the circle in the middle. And then we have the pupil, which is the dark dot right in the middle, the black dot. And we can use, you can use any color you want though. Okay, so we have our eyes and then we're gonna add an eyelid on each side. That's, that's just another little line. And then if you would like to add eyelashes, 
you can add some eyelashes. So I'm gonna put some eyelashes there on mine. And then we're gonna do some eyebrows. So you can look in the mirror and see the shape of your eyebrows. And you can add eyebrows. Okay. And then we can add our nose. So our nose is gonna be about halfway between where our eyes are and our chin. And for our nose, we're gonna do a U. And then we're gonna do a little U, smaller U on each side, okay? And if you want, you can do a line that goes down from one of your eyebrows. If you wanna put a line on the other side, you can. I'm just gonna do one line today. And then we're gonna to wanna to do our mouth. So our mouth is usually is about halfway between our nose and our chin. So I'm gonna put in a smile from my mouth. And then I'm gonna add some lips to mine. I'm gonna put a lip here for the bottom. And then I'm gonna do another little U at the top to do my lip here. But you can draw your mouth however you like. You can look in the mirror and see, do you wanna have like a silly mouth? Do you wanna have a big smile? However you would like to do that. Okay, so then we're gonna do our neck. I'm gonna go back to my blue crayon for this. And we're gonna draw a line down on each side for our neck. And then we're gonna add some ears. So our ears are usually from our eyebrow to our nose. So we're gonna just put like a little C shape here and then another shape there for our ears. And this is where we can start adding in special details. So if you have freckles, you can add some freckles. If you have glasses, you can add glasses earrings you can put those in I'm gonna put some earrings here and then we're gonna add our hair so if you have short hair I'm gonna use some a different color for my hair I'm gonna use this red color if you have short hair you can just draw your hair short and do a little line here or if you have long hair or a ponytail or if you have a bun, you could put like a big bun on the top, whatever style hair you have. So I'm gonna draw my hair and I'm gonna put some little lines in there because it's a little bit wavy today. And if you have curly hair, you can draw it curly, okay? And then we're gonna work on our shirt here. So some of the royal portraits we looked at, people had on very fancy outfits and you can make yours very fancy or if you wanna have it in your favorite t-shirt or your favorite sweatshirt, you can do that too. I am going to put on a necklace. So I am going to do some circles and make a necklace. But you can do whatever you would like to do. And then I'm gonna draw my shoulders coming out on the sides here, okay? So once we have that, we're going to decorate our crown and add some other details. So this is where we're going to use our white crayon. And what's gonna happen is when we use our watercolor paints, you will be able to see where the white crayon is. So when you draw it on now, you're not gonna be able to see a lot. But once we use the paint, that's when the magic happens. So I am going to draw, whoops. I just broke my crayon, uh-oh, that's okay. I'm gonna draw some hearts on my crown and you can decorate your crown with whatever you would like to draw. And then I am gonna draw some squiggly lines. And then 
I'm gonna put a little bit of white crayon on my necklace. Just like a little color on the edge. And then I'm also going to use some other colors with my crayons. So I'm going to add some orange here at the top. I'm gonna put a little orange in my hair. So this is where we're just gonna have fun with lots of bright colors, okay? So we're just gonna decorate however we would like. And then I'm going to put some stars in the background too, because we wanna cover, fill in our whole paper and have color all over their paper. So I'm just gonna do a few stars. But you can put in whatever shapes you would like. Okay, so after we have our drawing ready, we are going to use our watercolors and we're gonna paint in some color. So again, if you need to spray your water down, you can ask for help and get that, your water sprayed. And we're just gonna use bright, fun colors for everything. So I am going to use some green for my eyes. And as you can see, the watercolor does not stick to the crayon because the crayon is waxy.